As a new graduate, how do you become valuable or a commodity to the motion or identity firm that you're um, targeting towards? Like me specifically or any kind of company? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I look at everybody that's coming to us to either be an intern or to be an apprentice or a staff or freelancer. They have to have certain skills that I can work with. I'm looking for two very specific things in this moment. It'll change tomorrow, but right now this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who know how to design logos. And the kind of logos I'm looking for are corporate, but interesting corporate, not like boring corporate. Okay, so if you do a lot of rustic restaurant looking logos, those are cool. If you're doing a lot of hipster looking logos with X's and things like that and crests and cool things, those are cool too, but that's not the kind of client that I have. So I'm looking for corporate cool, and not that many people can do that. Like Landor and Associates is one of the big firms that can do corporate and make it look cool. They design H&R Block, uh, Kinko's, FedEx. They've done a lot of big, big corporate logos. Two, I'm looking for people who know how to set type. Like, how are your topography skills? And that those two things usually tell me you're a really good designer. So if you have those skills, you're going to become very attractive to me. I need to know you know your craft that you know the tools because I can teach you a lot, but I don't want to spend time teaching you Photoshop, Illustrator, or if you're an editor for me, I don't want to teach you Premiere. So if you come in with lots of tools that you know and you're, you're eager to learn, those things will put you in a good position. I've figured out something. Most people, it didn't matter what school you go to, their typography skills are not sharp enough for me to consider them to be good. And I'm sort of getting a little bit tired of bringing on people and training them. It's taking up too much of my time. And like I told you guys, I want to train or teach people in scale. So I've devised a new evil business plan. And that business plan is this. Rather than you come here, me to pay you, and then spend all my time teaching you, I'm going to teach a typography course that you can do in six or seven weeks. I'm going to charge money for it, take about 30 students on at a time, teach it, videotape, and put it out there so I can teach a lot of people in mass. The ones that are good, I'm going to hire. So that's how I'm going to do it. Because there are a lot of people who have the potential of being great. I just don't know it based on what you're showing me. To answer your broader question of how do you make yourself a valuable asset or commodity to a company, look at the work they do. See what you can do to align yourself more closely with the work that they do. It's okay to create multiple landing pages or multiple sites for yourself showing different portfolios. So if you're going to go and do illustration, and it's like watercolor illustration, it's beautiful. So you're like applying for some kind of fashion illustration job. That's what you do. You put that, you send them just that portfolio. And then if you want to do corporate ID, you send them that with typography and graphics or, you know, puppetry or whatever else you might want to do. You can show that portfolio.